What's up, the Johns? I hope you have such a wonderful Sunday day. Because guess what? I'm playing. I'm playing. That's right. NBA season, my league, the Miami Heat. That they played a game yesterday against the Minnesota Timberwolves. So you all know what happened to the results. But I'm playing NBA my league, Miami Heat versus Minnesota Timberwolves in Miami at the FTX Arena. So let's see. I'm gonna put in the star line. I'm gonna put Kyle Lowry in. I'm gonna put in center guard is Tyler Hero. Um, Tyler Hero, where is he? Actually, you know, Tyler Hero put in a center guard because, of course, you can nail those threes, make it edit in my lineup. And of course, put Duncan Robinson coming off the bench. Right now, he's hurt, but he's day to day. So, um, I'm gonna put in, uh, Let's see, we got Kyle Larry Tom. Okay, here we go. Hope you're all ready for this one. And those are the starting lineups, so kick back, line. get the yeah, Jimmy ready. Butler. We'll be back in just Jimmy a moment. Butler. Here we go. Hola, welcome to Noche oh. Latina, Latina, an NBA celebration of Latin heritage. That's Latin heritage. Bring it to you here at 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Clark Kellogg at Grand Hill. On the sidelines, Allie LaForce. Hey, Allie. Thanks, BA. Well, yeah, Allie, team's definitely motivated to stay in the top on. six. <laughs> so, the opening lineup for the Timberwolves in at forward, Edwards and McDaniels. Jalen Noel out there with D'Angelo Russell. And it's Reed in at the center. Jump ball. Let's use a jump ball first. I know the jump ball is to be It's so hard for me. Kyle Lowry out there with Tyler Hero. Nope, the Timberwolves got it. Okay, so here we go. Butler in at the three. Right, in the name up. of player development, if you've got a young team that's effectively out of the playoffs, do you scale back minutes for the okay, veterans? Okay, 2 nothing. Well? Here I would think so. Obviously, if the playoffs aren't in the picture, it's giving that remaining part of the season a chance for the young players yeah. to learn what the yeah. NBA is all about. So giving them more chances to play, resting the veterans, might be the smart move. Here off the three. Nails, Nails it. Tyler here. Yeah. 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 He's a guy who demands the best from himself and the best from his teammate. Pass to Edwards. Three-pointer. Good day. Miami will go the other way with it. Last time they met was in Minneapolis, where they beat the Timberwolves. The last time they faced this team, they were very aggressive. They found numerous ways to get themselves to the line. Yeah, a significant differential with free throws made. I mean, they were incredible. Six to two. Six to two. Six, well, good. Exactly four, up by six. Nice dive six to, to the four. open team made Two by Russia. Game. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Cavaliers. Stop the court. play a part in that one. I mean, the opponent had an off night at the defensive end for sure. Well, I think it was a combination of things, quite honestly, but the defense didn't really offer them a challenge all night. I agree with that. Here. Start three and three from the field to get the game uh, going. You're here. Gonna be the gas. Come on, Larry. There's the three. Offensive rebound. Three. Good. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet us. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Lowry. Doing some damage on the offensive end. Coming up a little over 14 points a game. Adebayo passes to Lowry, and his Butler outside, drills it to the uh -oh. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. The Timberwolves have gone three of five shooting so far. Up top lead, inside. Here's Edwards. Count it. And wow, how did you get that over? He's Butler. one for three. Edwards. Opposed and cool effort from Edwards inside. Not rushing himself or forcing a bad shot. Taking what's available. To Tucker. Here's Butler. Over Edwards. Oh, good. Over Edwards. Yeah, I got back to you, Edwards. Butler's got five points. Five buckets without a miss. That's a fantastic start. I mean, it is crazy to think how far Jimmy Butler has come. I mean, he didn't see a lot of the floor in his first two seasons. Then soon after, he made four. Oh, let's see that coming. A slam dunk by Reed. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what an impressive passing ability. 
the hero. Outside Tucker. Adebayo passes to Butler. Yes, and it's Adebayo picking up the assist. Seven points in the game. And Butler in his career, Grant, he won most improved player in 2015. I mean, it's like he became a 20 points per game player overnight. You feel like Butler just needed a chance in the NBA. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what, he's made the most of everything it, he's he had. missed. You can't ask for a cleaner look than that. He just couldn't deliver. Hero outside. Knocks down the ball with Jay. This defense is getting so awesome. Out. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 19-10, 9 point game. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Magic in Orlando. First quarter of play, and just over three and a half minutes in, the three is up. Oh, oh he missed. Oh, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go use it. That's right. Hero outside. Lowry outside. Pass to Butler. Here's the three. Fires in the triple. The big story thus far. How well they shot the rock. Very high percentage Butler. so far. Good point, man. You want to start a game? That's the way to do it. Now here's Russell. Taking command on offense when they need it. Coming up 21 a game. And he makes it. Where's the power? Tell you, Russell looking Where's the power? Very comfortable this taking on aggressive defense and getting the job done. That's good focus on this part. Here's Lowry. Yet from him, but that's likely to change. Good the ball, and here's a button. That's a hero. Back to Lowry. Shot clock at six. And here's Butler outside. That's good. Oh, man. So Lowry with the assist. Lackluster defense. Showing no desire to change Ooh. this off that line. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, this is my league, everybody. My league. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Hero for three. Again, he gets it to go. He can't miss. Five five. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. And I like the strategy. It's a great strategy. Bury those threes early and then open up the inside for them later on. Oh, come on. We should have got that. Outside Russell. Here's Edwards. That's his third basket and five shots. Solid work. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real defenses defensively. Slow. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Hero for three. Russell with the rebound. The Timberwolves have got eight out of 12 shots to fall. On the take. And then Russell with the dunk. They opened the gates and he came through. D'Angelo. You get excited for us, but you get excited Russell for the other team. Three for three from the floor. Good. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out Very aggressive offense so far. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Russell's got eight points. And, you know, this is one of D'Angelo's biscuit and butter moves. I mean, quick pull up off the dribble. He loves that one. Wow, five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. Both teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide open looks at the three-point shot. It seems like they have just not figured it out. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Reed's going three of five from the field. Hero outside. That's good. Hero's got 21. Now he's in his back and he's in the right now. You see his confidence. Yeah, I Everybody needs a hero. As a matter of fact, I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all this work from behind the arm. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up. Oh, why he push me? If they don't, things are just going to get worse from him. Russell from outside. Wow, he drops Russell. it from range. 11 points in the game. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. Hero outside, beyond the arc. Outside for Butler, Lowry outside. Hero for three. That one falls, eight of ten, scoring with confidence. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has 30. to stop giving them so many clean looks. I see that, 39 to 27 in the Now here's Russell. 
He's got 11. Pass to Noel. To the middle. Here's Reed. Offensive board. A slam. No by Reed. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changing. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Now here's Russell taking command on offense when they need it. Putting up 21 a game. And here's Hero. Over to the wing. And here's Lowry from the arc. He can't hit that time. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Reed, oh, Reed. I left him wide open. Left him wide open. open. For eight, looking comfortable out there. Can't blame the deficit on left him. Reed. He's been scoring at will this period. Lowry with it. They juke you out. Juke some out. And I did it. And the Heat lead by nine. And I'm just impressed with their effort here early. They've hit the offensive glass so hard. And those put back baskets contributing to their lead. Now here's Edwards. Coming Edwards. off a 28 point game against Orlando. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got a rebound number five here tonight. And here's Butler outside. Russell with the rebound. Minnesota's going only two of six from the three-point line of this first quarter. Pass to Reed. And here's Edwards. And a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. Edwards has got eight. And four feet of the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Knocks down the triple. Oh, He's going to get the ball through his hands no matter what. Now Russell. He's got 11. Here's Reed. And Hero grabs the board. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. Tucker knocks it down. He's a Tucker. They've had a hard time shutting down the three point shot. And they're not making up for it with their own shots from DB either, so that's a double edged sword there. Now here's Russell. To the inside. Nick Daniels, that's good. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Hero outside. In a bad shot, everybody made a bad shot. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Everly's checked in. Oh, Beverly. 11 left in the first quarter. Russell with the ball. Now guarded Russell. by Butler. The shot by Russell, no good. Out of Iowa against Reed. Pass to Lowry. Outside Robinson. Here's Struce. Guarded by Russell. Six to shoot. Robinson can't hit. Now Beverly. A kick out to Edwards. Jacks up a three. Sends it home from three-point land. Edwards got 11. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Lowry into the lane. Uses the glass to finish the layup. All right. And the Heat lead by 10. A bulky, quick-footed guard. I love when Lowry takes game. initiative and dives inside. Russell oh. inside. Oh, oh miss. And it's Miami's ball. Outside Robinson. Robinson, Walker Robinson. That's what coaches love to see. Ball move. Russell from outside. The shot that time not on target. And so it's Miami in a good situation. Up by 13 points by 13. to close the quarter. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. And one of the league's best at drawing charges. 
Kyle Lowry. Yeah, I mean, he grew up in Philly, idolizing Allen Iverson. Lowry's tenacity and willingness to put his body on the line actually reminiscent of Iverson's. Strange for the one quarter. It's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Heat. The guys, they are dialed in from long range already. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove out there. The other thing they had going for them tonight is their pass doing a nice job. Plenty of their points early on coming off assists. Setting the floor for the Timberwolves. Filling out the wings, Beasley and Edwards. Then it's Patrick Beverly. Then there's Torian Prince. And it's Knight in a center position. The Heat shooting about 70% from the floor. Hard to do better than that. Pass to Struess. Let's it go from deep. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. I love playing my Send it over to Allie LaForce. Thanks, BA. The Minnesota Timberwolves and their sister franchise, the Lynx, under new management, or at least that's the plan starting in 2023. A key part of the sales of the the season now, this is the season that's got to make the fans in the Twin Cities very happy. Well, that's great news, Allie. Thanks for that. Beverly outside. The 11-footer. Second shot opportunity. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Beverly against Robinson. Pass to Oladipo. Back to Robinson. Takes a three. Basket is good. With the setup from Oladipo. Oladipo's got three assists in the game. Well, I think they're getting caught in that in-between zone, no man's land. Giving up three straight from beyond the arc right now. Count that bucket. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of this game. And you know, Beasley saw a bigger role last year. Full slate of starter minutes for his. It led to a career high in numbers for him. Pass tonight. Right side Edwards. Now here's Beasley. Here's Knight. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Good. Beasley, a much bigger part of this team, was more a role player early in his career. Man, he's a bigger part of this team, PA, for good reason. He's a natural scorer who can fill it up, and he gives you a legitimate outside threat, and he's now become a top option for this offense. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. Beverly, the pass to Edwards. to see Edwards wow. shine on offense like this. I know it's got to be making his coach happy, too. Pass to Struess from outside the arc. Now it is off. Minnesota's gone one of two from downtown here in the second. And Edwards. Oh, wow. what a big time right there. Yes. Hey. Okay, Anthony oh, Edwards, you're showing up. Oh, my goodness, Anthony Edwards. Throwing it down with force. Get this guy in the dunk contest. G slam can. Hey, a dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. And guys, now that they're rolling from out there, the defense has to really get up into them. You've got to almost be in their jerseys to try to deny those looks. I love this game plan. That's 10 points in a row from in close. If you can't stop it, here it comes. I'm right at you. Back to Robinson from downtown. Robinson's got assist number five here tonight. The Timberwolves have gotten six of ten shots to drop in the second. Nice work. That's the night. Here's Prince. Tries again. That's alive. Here's Knight. Missed it, even after all of those chances. <laughs> yes. Seven of ten attempts to drop in the second quarter. Outside Robinson. Sinks it. Range downtown. Robinson's got 
got 15 points. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. I love it. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. He shoots it. Prince grabs the miss. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jump to the paint. And it's going to be a goaltending call. Oh, goaltending. Indeed, I don't know. Asia and Africa, really everywhere from the NBA. Brad, how do you see the future of this game? Well, I think it lies in the young international stars. I mean, you see guys like Luka and Nikola Jokic from Europe and Joel Embiid from Africa. I think we'll see more and more of that as the league and the popularity of basketball grows overseas. I mean, those guys will have the drive and the examples to succeed overseas. Down low. And the duck to finish it off. Oh, beauty. Love the unselfishness of Beverly. I mean, when he sees a teammate wide open, he quickly gets him the ball. Pass to Struis. Let's the three fly. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing their last matchup with Orlando. Just a tough road loss. They're going against players who are comfortable shooting in their own building. You have to find a way to disrupt their focus. Yeah, and it's not easy to do. Much easier said than done, but they're capable of making it happen. It just comes down, I think, to will and desire. Robinson against the bucket. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Beasley against Oladipo. And can't get it to go. Now one of two. Outside Robinson, back to Oladipo. Outside Robinson, let's go with a three. Basket is good with the setup from Oladipo. Robinson's got 23 points. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. And it's Beverly on the drive. Good work defensively by Robinson. And for Miami, they're shooting the ball with purpose. They're 68% from the field. Pass to Struess, back to Robinson, fires the three, that one's true, and that's nine for 12 for him now. A real quarter for him, I mean, he's found his rhythm and he's really riding that wave right now. Now here's Beasley, they look to him to score consistently, averaging around 13 and a half a game. Here's Knight, back to Edwards. Beverly, right side. Will it go? It's wide right. Hits off the rim. It hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. For three, Robinson. Good. Robinson. He's 13 shots. He's drained in them. Fantastic production. He is lighting them up from range this period. This team has made a concerted effort to get him shots. Here's Beverly. He's got five. Well, that's good work by Prince there. Spotting the open man and then putting the ball on target on time right in the shooting box. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. Robinson. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Robinson's got 31. Well, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they needed a basket, they've turned to him. Pass to Edwards. Beasley outside. Yep, that one goes. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now if they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. The three, Robinson. Good! Another from three. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. Outside Edwards, drives to the hoop. Oh, a first the foul. explosive athleticism of Edwards. I mean, it's on full display and quite obvious. He's one of the best athletes in the league, no doubt. And he drops the first. In the 2020 draft, he was the number one pick. Many are excited about Edwards' potential. It's up to him 
to meet those expectations and maybe even exceed them. And both, both free throws good for Edwards. Free throws are good, everybody. Both free throws and are good. Miami's this ball. Ball. They're on a 17 to 6 run. Outside Robinson. Robinson. He's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Minnesota has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. That athleticism, it's what made Edwards the top pick in 2020. Yeah, he's got a high ceiling, Brian. I mean, he lifts off the knees and power. It's rare that you have a guy who elevates like that and is strong in the air. And you definitely don't want to see him coming at you in the paint. Because he can wreck the rim with the best of them. Minnesota shooting it well, around 55% for the game. Inside. A slam dunk by Reed. Orchestrating the offense like a vet. D'Angelo getting everybody involved. Robinson on the wing. They grab their own miss. Launches a three. No luck on that one. So it's Minnesota now. They'll take on the Spurs at AT&T Center after this one. That game will conclude the three-game road trip they're currently on. Yep, that one's good. Nice read by Edwards there, finding a wide-open teammate and sending the ball his way on target. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambling. Right side, Robinson. Pass to Struess. Back to Robinson. 4-3. And he can't get that one. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. To the inside. And here's Russell. The three is up. And the Timberwolves wow. hit again from deep. They are shooting it well from beyond the arc right now. Robinson on the wing. Shoots over Beverly. That's good from Robinson. On the assist from Lowry. Robinson's got 39. Credit the plays they're calling for. Getting him right now some good shots. Here's Edwards. Oh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Lowry, the pass to Robinson. And the three off target. Minnesota's gone two or three from the three-point line in the second. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. We all know how explosive Edwards can be, reminding us there with that thunderous slam. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Robinson gets the lucky. He's doing it up right Robinson, now. we're two to seventy-seven, everybody. In a big way. Hold on, this lead. Now here's Russell. Tight defense on him. The shot misses. Good D by Adebayo. Let me just hold on for the last shot. Outside Robinson from deep three point range. Yes, and it's Adebayo picking up the assist. Adebayo's got four assists in the game. And so it's Miami firmly in control with an impressive 28 point lead as the quarter ends. Ooh. And their three point shooting, a big reason they have a sizable lead. Exactly, that's right. We'll be be back in a in. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to for the Heat. Can you give us your tip? They're getting a lot out of their fans. A lot. For the most part of folks. I just want to let you know, guys, I love you guys very and much. I'm happy you subscribe to me. Channel. So keep hitting the subscribe so you can see That's more of this. And Shout out to my man, man, Joe. I'll be trying to see one of you guys. So subscribe so you can see more of these videos. I love doing uh, my, uh, me playing NBA 2K22. I can't show things because, you know, I don't want to get caught with anything. Still, you guys can hear in the back. But I love you guys. Just about ready for the Thank you for sticking up for this video. For this game to be competitive, has to Sorry it's so long, but Sunday, you know it's it Sunday. Duncan Robinson. Robinson. He's hit shot after shot from deep. He's so locked in right now. Well, you know, the stroke looks fantastic. Even when he's had a hand in his face. Tucker is out there with Duncan Robinson. Then there's Tyler Hero, and it's Adebayo in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group for Eric Spolstra starting the second half. Good job, Eric Spolstra. with the ball, guarded by Adebayo, and it's good for two. Reed's got 19 points. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, 
he's looking at having a very big second half. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. And he goes in for the dunk. Doing all he can so far, but they still find themselves trailing. Miami has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. For three, Robinson. The rebound by the Timberwolves. McDaniel's got five rebounds in the game. To the middle. And he drops in the layup off the glass. McDaniel's got his second basket of the night. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Outside Robinson. From deep. Rebounded by the oh, it's open. Russell's got four rebounds now. Here's Edwards. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Russell's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Outside Robinson. From deep three-point range. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Robinson. Here in March, things are heating up. Let's check out the teams in the West. You look at the Timberwolves, and they're sitting with the fifth seed in the conference currently. You know, for Minnesota, just about everything they tried this season has worked. The system they run is a perfect... Out of bounds, heat ball. He took that out of bounds. I wouldn't have thought that a few months ago, but now I'm a believer. Jimmy Butler's checked in for Robinson. He stepped out of bounds. Outside Butler from deep. Percentage. Well, I tell you what, Butler getting better and better from way outside the three-point line. Just about a bad Got to give him run. credit for the work he's put in to do that. McDaniels, there's the block. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. Outside Butler. Hero for three. Gets the three to fall. Hero's got six in the quarter. He's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. They get it back. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. He got in excellent position, then takes it right back up to the wing, right side. Adebayo passes to Butler. Off target from three-point range. Outside Russell. Has to read to the paint. McDaniels. Ooh, good finish at the rack on the slick feed. McDaniels got six points. Nice job hitting him right in stride. Excellent play. Hero outside. From deep three-point range. Reed with the rebound. Reed's got six rebounds now in the game. Out of bounds. It'll be Miami's oh, ball. Oh, that's terrible. He slipped out of bounds again. Reed took that. That's another That's another turn. Now that the score is turnover. He Let's go Heat. For Miami, Let's go Heat. Cool here in this third quarter. Game. Just three of nine. I'm going to go for the two. Nope. Outside for Butler. Oh. Off the mark there with a three. Minnesota's gone five of 12 from three-point range tonight. Noel drives in, and he dumps it down. And clearly not enough defensive presence there. Well, he just took advantage and a ferocious jam. And guys, that'll get his heart rate up a little bit. I can tell you that. Watch out. He can be a dangerous player when his motor is revved up that way. And here's Edwards outside. And Tucker pulls it down. And for the Heat, they're shooting a less than average 27% in the third quarter. Outside Butler. The three. And it's Noel with the rebound. Noel's got four rebounds now. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter. But he's determined to stay after it. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you gotta convert. Outside Butler. Pass to Tucker. Back to Butler. Lowry with it. Hero for three. Carries it from three. Yeah. Hero's got 36 points. He's absolutely telling from outside. Russell with the ball. He's got 14. Now here's Reed. Here's Noel. He's guarded by Hero. Six on the shot clock. 14 feet away. The rebound by Lowry. The Heat shooting about 60% for the game. Hero outside. Another possession! 
assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Well, it's hard to talk about Lowry without mentioning his fantastic defense. Quick and physical with ball handlers. Tough to back down in the post and just brings the effort on every play. Now Tucker. Outside Butler. From the arc. Drops in with three. Butler's got 19 points. Making his mark from long range today. That's his second triple of the half. His fifth overall. Back to Russell. Out of bio against Reed. Lowry brings the double team. And we're going to have a jump ball. Oh, I'm terrible at jump balls. Either kind of assemble, he'd be jump balls in NBA. I mean, this is... Uh, possession. Back to Russell. To win the run. Out of Iowa grabs the board. You look how it's only to the jump balls. It's so tricky for me. I push. Outside Butler. From deep. Go! And the assist goes to Out of Iowa. Out of Iowa's got assist number five here tonight. Please leave your comments and let you do the jump balls in NBA 2K22. Here's so Noel. Well. He's guarded by Hero. Pass to Russell. Back to Noel. The three ball. Oh. Oh. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Butler finds out of bio. Back to Butler. Takes the three. He's off on that one. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. The defense gets burned by Edwards' ball handling ability. I mean, this guy is athletic and can really move. Hero outside. Gets the three ball to go. Hero's got 42 in the game. We've been watching him hold court out of the yard. Just an unforgettable performance tonight. And Russell, here we go. Count it. That's his seventh basket of the game in 14 tries. Well, I tell you what, such a smooth, tight handle. I mean, especially for a guy with a 6'5 frame and 6'9 wingspan. And here's Butler outside. And again, another assist. Another possession, another assist. Man, is he sharing the ball well. Hitting his guys right in their spots. Pass to Noel. Back to Russell. Now Reed. And there's the drive. That ball. Nice assist by Russell. Reed's got 21 points in the game. Willing passers. Unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Lowry against Russell. Lowry drives in, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That's his first foul of the game. Beasley's checked in for Anthony Edwards. On defense, the Timberwolves. Hero for three. Trains the triple. Hero's got 45 points. Minnesota's got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Has to read. Knocked away. Here's Beasley. That shot, no good. Some solid defense from Butler. Miami shooting well here in the third, hitting 50% of their shots. Adebayo passes to Hero. And it's off from three-point range. Well, the Timberwolves shooting has been excellent so far, around 56%. They get it back. A rare miss for him at point-blank range. That's what he'd like to have back. Pass to Lowry. Three-pointer. Hits the trifecta. Oh, man. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out good. Let's go, he defense. Stop. Defense. Russell has to read. Banked it in off the glass. Reed's got six in the quarter. Well, I like how quickly he threw the bounce pass there. Hard to defend against that. Outside Butler, from behind the arc, on target for range. 
his points are really adding up from the three-point line. He had nine from distance in the first half, and he's only getting better. Russell against Lowry. Russell the pass to Reed. Here's Noel. Outside Russell. Clock at six. Over out of bio. A shot by Russell. No good. For the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Well, a surprising stat, Clark. The last two seasons, for the first time in league history, guards scored more points in the paint than centers or forwards. How amazing is that, B.A.? What a transformation we've seen in the game at all levels, but particularly the NBA. Things have been inverted. It used to be you threw the ball inside to get high percentage shots. Now this is primarily a drive and kick league. Drive for the rim or shoot threes. Outside Butler. This one for three. Yes. And it's Adebayo picking up the assist. Adebayo's got six assists in the game. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting around 52% since the start of third. Pass to McDaniels. Dunks it hard with one hand. Wow, he makes it look easy. I think we can say that shot is well within his range. Yeah, let's hope so. Yeah, and especially when he caps it off with the steady one-hand jam. Uh, I thought that was going to be next, but he made it really that way. To make the yeah, next that pass. Really shot. Russell finds Beasley. Wow. He made that in, no kidding. Okay, we're only in the corner. We're double team. Get on him. There's 47 seconds left in the third quarter. And a two-handed jam! Uh, why did he all say it? Oh, that was nasty. blowing out. A he's blowing out the Timberwolves. It's really going for the seven. You know, all well, excited. I'm glad they didn't try because I don't want anybody to get hurt out there. Sure. From three-point range. Butler's yeah, got 37. No hesitation whatsoever from Jimmy Butler. Ready to shoot it as soon as he caught. It's so exciting. But... Outside Russell. Pulls it in from the elbow. And Minnesota again okay, with a bucket. Seven, one, and, you know, he's going to take that shot every time. The defense has to respect for us. him from the mid-range. Miami shooting has been tremendous. 63% for the game and scoring with confidence. Here's Lowry. And the layup falls. Lowry's got a Incredible control there from Lowry. Superb at keeping his composure even when things get physical. Russell against Lowry. Tries it from the top of the key. McDaniels inside. Second chance effort. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And so it's Miami, way out of reach, with an enormous lead as we head into a break. Oh, enormous lead. I have an enormous lead right now. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dot. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And a look now at the five for the Timberwolves to start the fourth quarter. They've got Malik Beasley, Torian Prince is out there with Jaden McDaniels, then it's Jordan McLaughlin, and it's Knight in at the five. Outside Butler, fires for three, hits a three-pointer. Butler's got 40 points. That's a great shot by Butler, letting the defense know you have to come out and guard me or otherwise you'll be taking it out of the net. Pass to McDaniels. Inside. Power down after the assist led him to the lane. I love the throwback basketball. Work it down low and set up your teammate. Here's Vincent. For three, Oladipo. McDaniels with the rebound. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. Well, there's been a lot of discussion about officiating in the league right now. Clark, you think the game's called tighter than it used to be? I don't really think it's tighter. It's different. I mean, the emphasis is on really giving the offensive players an opportunity to get to the basket and to not allow defensive players to impede with their hands on the perimeter, and I like that part of it. In cutting, you can't just chuck cutters and be overly physical. 
Basketball is a contact game, it's not a wrestling match. Uh, freedom of movement is an important part of that, and it looks better, and it does, in fact, um, allow it to be a little more entertaining, in my opinion. Hero for three. He buries it from three. Hero's got 48. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks guys don't last minutes, they last days. Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused. But weird plays happen. Robinson, he's checked in for Akpala. Pass to Balmaro, to the inside, Knight. Doesn't go that time. Good D by Adebayo. Miami has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Outside Robinson. Yes, and it's Adebayo picking up the assist. Adebayo's got his seventh assist here tonight. Here's Balmaro. Knight launches it, and it's out of bounds. Oh, instead of Timberland's ball. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Pass to McLaughlin. Fires from deep. Nails it from beyond the arc. McLaughlin's kept himself on the board with a three there. I mean, I guess they're willing to give him that shot. <laughs> they may want to rethink that strategy, though. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. Once again, he's able to knock down the long-range jumper. He's on automatic. Just a brilliant game. Well, Brad, it seems like more and more game time is spent with officials huddled around a monitor. Do you think instant replay has been a positive thing for the league? I doubt them. I think it has been a positive <laughs> I thing. I them. enjoy it. I think it brings a level of transparency, and also it's important to get the call right. But at times, it does disrupt the flow of a game, and players can't be consumed about winning every call all the time. Miss, 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 miss. He's perfect oh. from the line this time. We're in the final quarter play here. Three minutes in. Robinson on the wing. And they cash it in right away with a quick shot. Robinson's got 53 points. That's tonight. Those guys. Too, too long in the paint. And he's hit with a three-second violation. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Heat. They keep piling on the assist, guys. They haven't cooled off any in that regard. Something we've also seen them doing tonight is getting the long ball to go down. Big points from outside. And he shows the focus there. Nails the tee. Pass to Balmaro. Puts up a three. The rebound by Lowry. The Heat have gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. Hero outside. Back to Robinson. For three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Down low. Another shot. They shoot again. And Hero grabs the board. Hero's got his fourth rebound in this one. And some have said the pandemic increased the league's interest in a potential expansion. Brad, is that something you'd like to see? No, I wouldn't mind that at all. I mean, it just speaks to the league continuing to be popular and continuing to grow throughout the world. So we all know there'll be a hefty expansion fee, but there's some great markets out there that love the game of basketball and would really embrace a team. You know, one city that comes to mind, Seattle. So maybe it'll happen. I'm hoping it does. Outside Robinson. And another dive for him. The chemistry he has with this guy is impressive. I mean, keeping his head on a swivel, actively seeking out his teammates, incredible. Here's Knight. Got it. Good job in the low post. Oh, man, he's got a great combination. Plenty of length and a soft touch from close range. 
for three. Robinson. Simon pulls it in. Minnesota has got one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. And the basket by Balmaro. That's a nice play there. Not going to miss many from there. The Heat have gotten seven of their first ten shots to go during this fourth quarter. Lowry, the pass to Robinson. And again! That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. 62 and points for Duncan Robinson. Him so far. Here's Prince. And there's the slam! Dunk to finish it off. Prince can really elevate now. He plays much bigger than 6'7", and we just saw an example of that there. And the next again from distance. Man, he's really launching him from outside the arc. Man, so locked in. Feeling confident in his three-point shot tonight. Pass to Lehman. Here's Knight. Out of fire with the rejection. What a menacing swat by Bam. Letting them know there are no easy shots when he's around. Outside Robinson. Again and again. Back to Adebayo, hero outside. Robinson on the wing, five on the clock. And another one! And he's been dominant so far in this one. Shouldering the offense, really taking it to the opposition. All sorts of time, chalk up two there. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. Miami shooting continues to impress. 65% for the field. He got it again! Sensational! He is unconscious. That's to Prince. Lays it up and banks it in. Boy, nice strong finish that time by Tori and Prince. Prince has gotten five shots to fall at eight tries. Outside Robinson. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. And that's a low percentage shot. And I'm sure he knows it. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. You gotta keep the ball moving. Get something better. And he recovers it. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Those are free points you're giving away. You gotta work harder on the glass. Yet another assist. 25 assists. What an unselfish performance. <laughs> Looking like Scott Skiles right now with all these dives. Oh, Scott Skiles. Pass tonight. Here's Lehman, counted by Adebayo. With the explosive leaping ability, he's able to play center despite being undersized. Outside Tucker. For three, Robinson. Back to Tucker. Outside Robinson. There's the triple, and again for three. He's been on the money from deep. Definitely looking to shoot as much as possible. Here's McLaughlin. He's guarded by Lowry. Oh, there's a killer. Two hand slams. Terrific accuracy on that pass. That's how you lead your teammate. Robinson on the wing. Oh, connects again. And this game has his name written all over. He has been phenomenal. An Let's offensive go onslaught. Heat. Let's go, he. Let's go, he. Here's McLaughlin. Here's Knight. Oh, and he got oh. fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And I think we're all giving more attention to health and well-being. Grant, anything the league can do better to protect player health? Well, I know they've tried to cut down on travel and minimize back-to-back. -back, but at the end of the day, you're playing 41 road games and 41 home games. That's what it is. It's a marathon. It's going to be hard. And it's an endurance race. And so, yeah, maybe reducing regular season games, but I'm not sure that's an option. So sometimes you just got to grind it out and get through it and hope for the best for your ball club. Here's Butler, and he lays it up and in. Butler's got 42 in the game. Easy to see why Butler gets so much respect for his competitiveness. I mean, he thrives at finishing through contact. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, completely a brain fade. I don't yes, know where that came from. His lost sense of time and the situation. Robinson, he's checked in for Butler. Oh, 
but he sinks the second. Here's Oladipo. Outside Robinson. From deep. Good! Another bucket! And there it is! 82 points! This is a game that he will never forget. I know I won't. Here's Okogi. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Okogi's got his first basket of the night. Well, I like this from Okogi. I mean, still refining his perimeter game, so he makes his presence felt inside. Pass to Vincent. Right side, Robinson. Goes back up. The shot won't fall. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. They get the rebound. And another shot. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It goes on Duncan Robinson. The fans are good. I love it. 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 He misses the free throw. Coaching turnover is a fact of life in the NBA. Grant, as a player, how tough is it to adapt to a new coach? Well, it depends on the timing. I mean, an off-season change gives the team a time to get used to a new system. Now, if it happens in mid-season, it can be a little tough. The learning curve is definitely steep. From deep three-point range, from beyond the arc, and then some. Minnesota's got one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. The floater, McLaughlin, shot is good. McLaughlin's got six points in the quarter. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. Robinson gets the bucket. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. And you know what? Teams can get a little three happy down the stretch sometimes. Letting it fly. That's serving it up on a platter there. What a nice pass. A high percentage look was the result. From deep. Raymond pulls it in. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting a terrific 56% so far in the fourth quarter. Nice shot by Okogi. Well, that is a very impressive, quick first step by Josh Okogi. Hard to defend that. Outside Robinson. From deep three-point range. He can't get it to go. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. To the middle. Here's Knight. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. <laughs> and he just punches home the one-hand finish. Hey, two points the easy way. He'll take those all day long. For three, Robinson. And yes, another basket. That's 91. An incredible feat. Incredible indeed. This is just a flat-out insane performance. Here's McLaughlin, and he drives in. Unfortunately for them, they're still going to come up short. You wish they showed this kind of fight earlier. Yeah, you know, I agree with you. They waited too long to finally ramp themselves up. For three, Robinson. The three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Pass to Balmaro, fires the three, sinks the tray. Hey, you leave him open, he's going to make the defense pay for that level of disrespect. Outside Robinson, beyond the arc. That one doesn't drop. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Here's McLaughlin, the three is up. Counted from distance. And it's Miami's ball. Outside Robinson. Depot. Outside Robinson launches a three. Ah! So the home crowd happy here. He win it. The victory. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second. 157 to 206 is the final. It's amazing when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Tyler, we know you are never shy. What gives you that confidence to let it fly when the pressure is on? Uh, I like taking a big shot. Uh, my teammates, my coaches, they all trust me and put me in the right spot. So uh, sometimes I make a couple big shots here and there. Well, you give them a reason to trust as well. Congratulations. That's going to do here. Then he win it. We get the Timberwolves.
Check the box score. Duncan Robinson. Yeah, one rebound, 91 points, and not too bad for Robinson. Jimmy Butler. Well, okay, so we didn't do too bad, but anyway, um, I'm gonna end right here. So anyway, um, once again, the John Squad. Please like this video. Happy Sunday, the John Squad. Love each and every single one of you guys. Let's go Heat. They beat the Timberwolves on my league on NBA 2K22. So that's gonna do it here. So peace out, the John Squad. God bless. I love each and every single one of you all. Thank you for joining me here on today's video. And stay tuned for more. Peace.